The Africa CDC says the continent must prepare itself better for more COVID-19 variants after Omicron. What should really be the, the centrality of our conversation is how do we deal with the variants? How do we communicate with the variants? How do we have policies that will not uh, enable us to panic and then create further distrust across uh, uh, all of us as humanity so that we can tackle this virus in the most appropriate way? South Africa, that was the first globally to announce its discovery of the Omicron variant, said it had built on its scientific capability since the pandemic began, and other countries must be supported to do the same. All of this was possible, and the research was possible, because we prepared. And this wasn't preparing by accident. This was very careful thought, led by the African CDC, to establish uh, a continental network of laboratories to undertake surveillance, to collect the essential information that gives us the power over this virus. The more we know about it, the less our uncertainty, the better able we are to cope with it. The three days meeting has emphasized that a new public health order must begin by each country strengthening its national health institutes. If you have a national public health institute or a disease surveillance system that doesn't have the mandate it requires, then you have a challenge. So countries will need to change their legislation. They'll need to put in the bills or the acts that are necessary to support the national public health institutes. And finally, it's the workforce. That if you don't have adequate workforce, we know in Africa we have a big challenge. Some of the data shows that Africa needs 6,000 epidemiologists. We have only maybe 1,900. Africa has also decided that the time to begin its own vaccine manufacturing is now. It's not just about building the actual uh, manufacturers. It's about putting the whole system in place, bringing political, commercial, uh, 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 private equity, invest, investors, science and public health together to create this system that will put us in a much more secure position for the next pandemic because we know that there will be another pandemic. The plan is to manufacture at least 60% of Africa's vaccine needs internally by the year 2040. African countries are depending on the Partnership for African Vaccine Manufacturing developed by the African Union to set up this local manufacturing. But experts say for this to succeed, all countries must support it technically and financially. Commitment to financing the health sector in the continent is still lacking. Our leadership, our political leadership, signed the ADIS agreement on vaccines, what I'm thinking now, eight years ago. And that committed, one of the things that, 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 that was asked for was vaccine manufacture. And it was a strong commitment, but we didn't move on it. What we can't do now is to take our own foot off our own regional um, pedal. As the continent awaits to put its decisions into action after the three days meeting, the African CDC is urging citizens to get COVID-19 vaccines and practice public health measures to survive this pandemic. Koleto Anjohi, SABC News, Nairobi, Kenya.